what's up guys flow good back again got a, uh, a deck tech video for you guys this is uh, the aristocrats it's a deck by Sam Black and Tom Martell uh, Tom Martell won the latest pro tour with this deck um, <clears throat> there is one minor change and I'll, I'll point it out when I get to it but uh, let's go over it here play uh, 24 lands We've got three cavern of souls four blood crypt four godless shrine four isolated chapel one clifftop retreat four sacred foundry three planes and a vault of the archangel so that's 24 lands there uh, we've got four Champion of the Parish, uh, four Doom Traveler, we've got four Orzhov Charm, if you've never seen this card. Um, return target creature uh, you control and all auras attached to it uh, to your hand, or destroy target creature and you choose and you lose life equal to its toughness. Or return target creature with converted mana cost of one or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So four of those, pretty much the removal spell of this deck. Uh, four cartel aristocrat can sacrifice a creature, and then cartel aristocrat gains protection from a color of my choice until end of turn. Got three knight of infamy, uh, protection from white and exalted. Two skurzdag high priest has the ability to make 5-5 five, five black demon tokens pretty sweet We've got two lingering souls four boros reckoner and two silver blade paladin four falcon wrath aristocrat and one restoration angel and two zealous conscripts so there's a lot of interaction here with uh, with this deck. Uh, being able to sacrifice with eight of the cards in the deck, and then you have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one humans. It's pretty good for the champion of the parish and for Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, since you can sacrifice human and get a one-one counter. Um, then of course you know Boris Reckoner is a beast on his own. Uh, so yeah, that's the main board. Uh, sideboard we've got three Tragic Slip. We've got one more Skurzdag High Priest. We've got two Rest in Peace for the uh, Reanimator style decks or like Esper Control, anything that uses the graveyard a lot. Um, the one change to the sideboard is I added a Boros Charm, um, and Tom had Tom Martell had a Mentor of the Meek in the sideboard, which is a human that allows you to pay one mana every time a creature enters the battlefield under your control with I think like two or less toughness or something, and you can draw a card, but. I will, after play testing a little bit with this deck, I've noticed that it's pretty weak against Supreme Verdict. So I added just one of these in the sideboard, and it's actually paid off pretty good um, a couple times. So that's pretty cool. So two more Lingering Souls, uh, two Soren Lord of Innistrad, and two Obsidat Ghost Council. This guy's a beast against uh, any kind of control deck, really. Um, it does good against uh, aggro decks if you can get this high, like 5 mana. That's pretty good. And then I've got two Blasphemous Act in the sideboard. Uh, Blasphemous Act, if you don't, if you haven't really seen this card, just says it costs 1 uh, mana less for each creature on the battlefield, and then Blasphemous Act does 13 damage to each creature. So. If you have a Boros Reckoner out there and you cast Blasphemous Act 
That's going to deal 13 damage to Boros Reckoner. And if you see that, it says whenever Boros Reckoner is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target creature or player. So if your opponent is at like 13 life or less, you can kill him with a Blasphemous Act if you have a Reckoner on your, ta on your side. And that's pretty awesome, if you ask me. So this deck is really fun to play. <coughs> I was playing a version of this deck when I saw the Pro Tour start. I was like, wow, that looks pretty awesome to play. Um, it didn't have any Silver Blade Paladins in it. I tried to kind of like see what cards were being played during the matches, and then I made a deck based around it. Um, but this is the actual list that has been posted, minus the Boros Charm. It has a Mentor of the Meek. So let me, let me show you that real quick. So Mentor of the Meek. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one if you do draw a card. So he has one of these in his sideboard, and I replaced it with a Boros Charm. So anyway, that is the Aristocrats, and stay tuned to see my uh, daily standard tournament with this deck, and it should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. See ya.